Welcome to another episode of NOC Tech. Now, a lot of you have been asking me for recommendations for gaming laptops and usually I ignore. Not because I am an action step big influencer crap or anything like that. It's because I don't really have a recommendation for a gaming laptop. I used to hate gaming on a laptop. I mean, doing work on a laptop is fine. You can bring it everywhere, convenient. But if you talk about gaming, it's a big no-no. No, 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 no. And the biggest factor on why I don't game on a laptop is because of the monitor. Not because of how small it is or the 60 hertz refresh rate, it's because of the response time. Usually gaming laptop response time is 5 milliseconds to 10, even 12 milliseconds. If you play any games like CSGO or Overwatch or PUBG or any FPS game, you know that response time is very important. Having a high response time can actually handicap you in game. And because of that, I rather have a big bulky PC desktop than a slim laptop. Until now, the new MSI GE 63 VR Raider. And oh boy, it's good. Straight to the point, the monitor. It not only have low response time of 3 milliseconds, it has a 1, 2, 0 hertz refresh rate monitor. And that is crazy. That is crazy impressive if you ask me. For a laptop. My own monitor also not like that. And you're probably gonna ask. Then the rest of the laptop lay? I'm glad you asked. Under the hood, you have the top-line Intel 7 Gen CPU. There's a 1060 GTX 6GB, which you can actually get the 1070 version, but more money lah. 256GB NVMe SSD and a 1TB hard disk drive. There's this cooling system, they call it Cooler Boost 5, which in short, very good cooling system. They have a 7-pipe heatsink. 7, that's right, in this. 4 for the GPU, 3 for the CPU, they have 2 fans and 4 exhausts. Exhaust, exactly. Why is this important for your GPU and CPU? It's because if your GPU or CPU overheats, it will actually lower the performance or even shut down completely to protect and save your hardware. With great cooling comes great performance. And some other stuff that is really cool is the keyboard. The keyboard has a Perky RGB lighting, which you will only see in like top of the line keyboards. And if I'm not wrong, it's the first and only laptop that does it. And for the keyboard, you can really customize any color you want. It's really cool. You can do rainbow, you can do all sorts of stuff. Everything feels great. Keyboard feels great. The trackpad, no problem. There is a lot of software in it to customize your performance and the speakers are really loud. It sounds like there's a surround sound. I don't know whether you can hear it. Let's, let's play something. So you can hear that the laptop is really loud. Like I'm trying to fight with the laptop. And it's just from a freaking laptop. I think for gaming-wise, it's very important, especially if you don't have a headset, to know where's left and right. So that's really cool. You can do a test. Left and right, like it's very distinctive. Some laptop, it just comes out from one area and it doesn't sound like it's 3D. So this sounds very 3D, very surround sound. Something I forgot to mention is the slots and ports. On the right, you have an SD card slot and two USB ports as well as the power input. And on the left, you got audio jacks, you got USB Type-C port, you got another USB, which I forgot to mention that all three of them are lit up, so at night, no problem. You got a mini display port, you got a HDMI port, and you got a LAN port. And um, that's all I have for the specs. And if you get this laptop, you will also get a MSI gaming bag, which I am using it for my everyday use because it's so practical. It has like a lot of space. There's one compartment here for your laptop. There's another one for your other other stuff and it's really huge there's another compartment in front for smaller stuff i got my uh passport in here and, uh, you know, i don't know maybe go jb or something i don't know put your laptop inside you can uh, put your controllers inside controllers in the front even your big ass mouse pad can fit one can fit one and fit you see how huge, how huge can fit the whole freaking mouse pad. And then your mouse, don't forget your mouse. And your power cable, which is 
connected, so don't worry. I mean, I don't know whether you watch this, but there is this video online where it can actually feed a freaking snake that is like taller than me, taller than you, taller than someone else. Like three people are still taller, you know. But if you see a snake in your bag, ah, just leave it and, and run. Ah. Call police or something. Ah. Just run. Okay? In conclusion, who is this laptop for? And the answer is very simple. Mid to high tier gamers which MSI is targeting this group of people with the GE series. If you look at their website, there is five different series. GT is the top performance with like crazy ridiculous price like 5K and up. And the GE is one step down where performance meet affordability. Which leads me to the price of the GE 63 VR. How much is it? It's 2899 SGD. Ching, 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 ching which might look expensive, but if you think about it, with the monitor and the cooling system and the per-key RGB keyboard lighting, it's like never done before. So it's really justifiable. And that is the end. I hope this video helped you decide on what gaming laptop you want to get. Also, I might want to review the GT series, like the top-end GT series with freaking mechanic keyboards. Comment in the section below if you want to see that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do remember to click here for more and uh, click here to subscribe. Like, do y'all actually see the freaking MSI back video? No? It's crazy, eh? Freaking hell, the f it's not that long, eh? The guy still open the back and tap the back. Xiao, xiao, xiao. I go play game now, okay? <laughs>